Hey everyone, and welcome back to the next level. This has been a pretty big week for my channel. As many of you have subscribed, commented, and checked out the videos. Thank you so much for that, by the way. This video is a direct response to one of the more popular questions you guys were asking, and that is the question about how to practice properly. One of you asked, Ruslan, if you were to start over as a child, what practice routine would you assemble? How would you practice without spinning your wheels? How would you make sure that your practice time really benefits you as a player every time you practice? I think that's a really important question. So let's talk about that. Okay, so these are the universal things I think we should all be doing. Number one, practice a little bit of technique every day. Even if it's just 10 minutes. Control over your instrument is important. It will always be important, no matter how well you play. Staying warmed up, having everything move properly is important, no matter what instrument you play. And so, every day, a little bit of technique is something that every one of you and me have to practice, no questions asked. Number two, at any given point, you should be in the middle of transcribing something. Maybe it's a favorite solo of yours. Maybe it's a song you heard that you really liked. Maybe it's a really cool lick that you heard someone play and you want to transcribe just that lick and practice it on every key. It could be anything that moves you. The point is that at any given day, if I asked you, what are you transcribing these days? You should have an answer. You should say, oh, I'm actually in the middle of transcribing this, this and that. So the benefits of transcribing are clear. Transcribing is great because it develops your ear and it gets you closer to the music you love. Assuming that the music you choose to transcribe is always going to be some music you love. Otherwise, why would you choose to transcribe it in the first place, right? It also enriches your vocabulary, improves your conceptual understanding of music, it conditions your fingers to play ideas they would have not otherwise played, and is overall a win-win-win-win-win situation. So at any given point, you should be transcribing something, even if it's just a few minutes a day or a couple bars a day. Okay, so these are the universal things I think we should all be doing. Now, what about the more specific things? What should I be practicing? What should you be practicing? After all, there are so many things we could be working on. Which ones should we be working on and which ones shouldn't we? If you ask a lot of people whether they like their playing or not, Many of them will tell you, nah, I don't think I'm that great. Man, I still have so much to work on. I'm not all that. I'm okay. I'm not that great. And yet, if you confront them specifically and say, what is it exactly about your playing that you dislike? You would be surprised how few of them could give you a clear, coherent answer. As in, I don't like about my playing this, 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 and this. You would be surprised how few people can actually answer this question clearly to themselves and to others. I hope you're starting to see where I'm going with this. You cannot construct a productive practice routine until you are crystal clear on everything you think is wrong with your playing. Or not wrong, but could use some work. If the target we're trying to hit is vague, the means we will adopt to hitting that target will reflect that vagueness. Until you know exactly what you need to improve in your playing, you can't possibly have a great practice routine. Sometimes it's a little tricky to put our finger on it. Sometimes I just know that there's something about my playing that doesn't feel quite right and I can't quite tell you what it is I just know something is off Listen, that's perfectly normal. This is when you go and take a couple lessons from someone This is when you ask for coaching This is a good opportunity to drop our ego and ask either a teacher or even one of our own peers What do you think I should work on? What do you think I should improve? But if not your peer, then definitely a teacher or even an online teacher. No matter how you get there, whether by yourself or with the help of an instructor, you have to be crystal clear 
on very specific things in your playing that you are trying to improve. Once you are crystal clear on what those specific things are, assembling a practicing routine will be a piece of cake. Or if not a piece of cake, at least it will be a lot easier than trying to assemble a practice routine without even knowing what exactly we're trying to accomplish. For instance, if you are an upright bass player, it could be my articulation in the thumb position isn't that awesome. I really should work on that. Or if you're a piano player, you could say, man, I'm not really good in the key of B major. Or if you're any instrument, you could say, I don't know how to solo well in really fast tempos. Or you could say, I don't play on chord changes very well. Or you could say, whenever I see a diminished chord, I don't really know how to improvise over it. And so, without this knowledge, practicing often turns into spinning one's wheels and giving yourself the illusion that you're actually practicing when you really aren't. Many people out there think they're practicing, but in reality, they're really not. In reality, they're often practicing things that they're already good at. And so, end up spending a lot of time and maybe even having a lot of fun, but really not having a lot of growth. Someone once said, if you sound good when you're practicing, you're not practicing. Don't get me wrong, jamming and playing by yourself is very important and is an integral part of your growth as a player. But this should be allocated time to and done deliberately. The other trap of practicing is not monitoring your results. Blindly practicing something without noticing whether or not it's actually helping in the long term. So if you've been practicing something for a week or two every day, record yourself and listen to that specific parameter in your playing that you've been working on for a while. Don't get me wrong, sometimes results take a while to show up. Maybe it's two weeks, maybe it's seven weeks. But I'm just trying to warn you in principle, as in keep monitoring your playing to see if you're accomplishing the specific goals you set out to accomplish. Goals that are directly correlated to the specific areas which you said you need to improve. The other trap of practicing is this. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It certainly happened to me before. I get my hands on some cool new exercise or a cool new way of practicing. I start doing it. I start seeing immediate results within a day or two. I get really excited and I start practicing three, four hours a day. And I'm just so excited and I'm on fire for practicing and I'm practicing a lot and I can't stop talking about it and I'm seeing results and I'm seeing growth and I'm practicing a ton. And what happens next? A week goes by, two weeks go by, two and a half, three weeks go by and I burn out. And then I stop practicing altogether. And then I stop practicing altogether. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It certainly has happened to me. So I'm just putting it out there. Pace your practicing, okay? The goal is not that you're all excited and can't get enough of practicing for three and a half or four and a half weeks. The goal is that 19 months from today, you're still practicing, even if it's only 15 minutes a day, okay? 15 minutes a day will take you further in the long run than four hours a day will take you if it means you're gonna burn yourself out eventually and stop practicing altogether. So watch out for that and pace yourself. So after I've said all these words, where should you start? You should start right here and right now. In the comment section below, write two to three areas in your own playing that you know you should improve. Write two to three areas of your playing that you know you should improve. I will reply to every single comment and I will personally coach you in every area in how you should be working on it to see results as fast as possible. This is it, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. There's a lot more of this kind of content coming your way. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.